Hello, um, today I want to show you the progress of my wireless Unity remote. Um, so, right now everything should be working. Um, I'm currently working on the input system, so that's, that's not gonna work 100%, but yeah, you'll get the idea. So, um, first off, we'll have a window right here, which is the discovered devices. Um, there's no device right now running the the app, so um, let's fire it up. Uh, there we go. So once uh, the app is, is running, uh, as you can see, there's one discovered device. Um, my phone is right now plugged in, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to charge it. And um, actually on the app, we, have to, we don't have to configure anything, not like uh, adding IPs uh, or port numbers or something like that. It's all automatic. Uh, so um, once uh, a, a device is discovered, you can click it and it'll say ready for connection. When you press play, a connection with the device will be established, uh, which means that um, yeah, you don't have anything. You can't do anything with the remote if the game is not playing, so why should we use a connection right now? So um, if I go to the to the example scene I've created um, and go ahead and press play. You can see that automatically the screen is cast onto my phone completely wirelessly and the input is translated to my PC. So um, in the custom input manager you can see the gyroscope data. I think it's a little bit small uh, but you can see it changing uh, the accelerometer data and also the touch data as my fingers touch the screen uh, that list will expand depending on the amount of fingers I put on the screen. Um, as you can see it's pretty fast. Um, there's not that much of a delay but then again we're using a network so there's always a little bit of a delay. And um, yeah let's see. As you can see I can drag the, the cube to wherever I want. The screen itself has a, um, a delay but yeah, using video casting over network really takes up some time. Now uh, the UI right now kind of works. As you can see, I can tap the button and it just disappears. Uh, but now I'm working on the sliders and dragging. Um, so and that. Uh, now as you can see, the stream it's kind of okay. But we can also um, go to the settings and right there, there's a slider. And if I increase or decrease, it'll update the quality, just like that. And that's my current progress. Um, also, yeah, I forgot to mention that when you stop, the connection is automatically broken. And when you press play again, it'll reestablish instantly, just like that. If you want to test another device, you just go to the editor window, choose other device, and you can select which one has the app running and it's as easy as that. You can also switch between devices on uh, runtime. Uh, I'm currently filming with my iPad so I can't really run the app on that and film at the same time but if you go to the screen you can just disconnect as you can see and just click on another device to instantly create the connection. Uh, it won't be updated because we need to be in the game view but yeah that's it for now. So um. If you have any feedback, uh, just let me know.